Hello wonderful people, it is Genevieve and in this video we're going to take a look at how to create, customize, and download color palettes in Procreate 5X. And I also have some pretty exciting news to share with you later in the video, so make sure you stick around until the end so you don't miss that. But until then, open up Procreate and let's create some palettes. First of all, where are the color palettes in Procreate? Well, if you click on this circle here, which is your active color, it's going to open up a menu. And in the lower right corner of that menu, you have palette right here. And you can see you already have some pre-made palettes that come with Procreate. You can customize them and you can also download some palettes. So for example, these ones are palettes that I've created myself. And by the way, you can download them uh, by clicking on the link in the description. Now how to actually download a palette? Well, that's really easy. You have two scenarios. First scenario is you download a palette on your computer and then airdrop it to your iPad. If you do that, it's gonna automatically open up Procreate and import straight as in. No problem with that. If you download it by clicking on a link, so on a website or in your email, something like that, the file is going to download in your file folder right here, which is a blue icon that you're gonna find on your home screen. So if you click on it, you're going to see this section here on my iPad and you're just going to have to locate the file. It's going to be a swatches extension and it's going to have this little funky logo here. And if you just tap on that, it's going to import straight into Procreate. Now, if we go back to our palettes, it's kind of a bit annoying because it's the opposite of when you import new brushes. Usually when you import new brushes, they come up here at the top, but a new palette comes out as the last one. Just like layers, however, if you tap on it and hold it, you can move it where you want. So I'm going to put it at the top for this example. Now you see here you have uh, set default as an option. And what that does if we activate it is when you go back to the other menus, that's the palette that's going to show up at the bottom. And that's also the palette that's going to show up if you um, grab the little menu panel that you can move around. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you because that didn't make sense. But basically if you click on this little horizontal line here and just tap, you're going to be able to separate that menu and make it just like a smaller menu that is not going to go away. And if you click on the palette icon that is in the bottom right, you're going to have all your palettes once again. So that's how to download palettes. But now, what about creating your own or editing a pre-existing palette? You have a few options. So going to your palette menu again, clicking on the plus icon here, you're going to get actually four options. So either create a new palette, which is going to create just like a blank, oops, a blank palette here at the top. And you also have some um, like quick options that I'm going to show you next. But let's start with creating a new palette. That can seem a little bit intimidating because it is just like a really empty <laughs> space to stare at. But what I personally do to kind of break that scary feeling is just pick one color that I know I want to use in my palette. So for example, I'm going to pick this blue and I just place it. And the way to place a color is you just tap on one of the little squares and it's going to appear. What is really great with Procreate is that you now have this harmony um, section here in the bottom. And if you click on harmony, you're going to see that the palette you're working on is going to show up at the bottom. And if you click on this word below color, you're going to have a few options. So you're going to have complementary, split complementary, analogous, triadic, and tetriadic. That was hard to say. <laughs> But basically what these are, are just combinations of colors that automatically will work well with the color you pick. So what I do is I just go through them and add all the colors that I get suggested in my palette. So for example, here I'm going to pick this red and click on my palette. Then I'm going to reset the main color by clicking on the blue again. And I'm going to go through. So split complementary. I'm going to add the orange, this raspberry color. And then reset again, clicking on the blue and just going with um, all the other options as well. And once you went through all the options, you should have probably your first entire row uh, filled with colors. And you can see already this is a palette that is coherent. It might need to be refined for sure, but it is already something that will work together in the end. What I like to do then is kind of add more shades of the same colors. So Going back to picking my main color here, I then switch to the classic mode and I just drag the color towards the lower right corner and just add one more swatch and then do the opposite. So drag my color towards the upper left corner 
and add another swatch. And you see it just adds more shade. So if I went with this red, again, towards the down right corner and then towards the upper left corner. And you can just fill out your, your entire palette doing that. Now let's say that there's one color that you don't like or you think looks too similar to the other ones and you want to delete it. If you tap and hold on the color, it's going to open up delete swatch here. And if you had a different swatch that you wanted, for example, I want it to be uh, slightly more blue and maybe a bit less saturated, could go over and then do the same thing. And you can also just replace a swatch without deleting it. So if you click on a pre-existing swatch, just tap and hold, you're also going to have set current color as an option if the color that you have as your main color is different than the swatch that you're trying to switch. So that's a really nice, quick, easy way to create your own color palettes from scratch. But if you remember, we do have a few more options and these are pretty much the same and they're new with Procreate 5X, so this is really exciting. But basically, it allows you to import a picture and the software is just going to create a palette automatically based on that picture. And they're all the same, it just depends on where the picture is located on your iPad. So picture from camera is going to be, well, you're actually going to take a picture with the iPad. And here it makes no sense because all you would see is either my phone or a white rectangle. Um, then picture from file is going to be a file located um, in the blue app icon that we checked uh, when we download the app or the palette, I should say. And then pictures from photo is just going to open up your camera rolls. For this example, I'm going to pick a picture from file and select this maple leaf picture. And you can see it creates automatically and really quickly a color palette based on the picture. I rarely use this feature when drawing a single illustration because I just feel like it creates something that is a little bit too messy um, and a bit repetitive most of the times. But it is certainly a really good place to start if you really don't know what you're doing or if you're just too nervous about starting from scratch. Um, I don't want to keep this palette, so <laughs> I'm just going to swipe towards the left and that's going to open up the option to either share it, which I definitely don't want to do, or just delete it, which is much more appropriate. So I'm just going to delete it right now. There is one scenario, however, in which I use this tool, and it is when I create multiple illustrations that need to be part of the same series. So for example, a children's book, I would create one first spread and then import that illustration, just like we saw here. And it's going to create a palette that you can use throughout the entire book to make sure that you know, the illustration makes sense together and that your characters, for example, they're wearing the same colored clothes and stuff like that. So it's not necessarily creating palettes that are super interesting for one-off illustrations, but for a series, it's a really cool feature. So there you go. You now know how to create, customize, and download your own color palettes in Procreate 5X. If you want to check out the ones that I created, they will be linked in the description below. And I think it's now time for the announcement. Okay, so the big news is that, guys, we now have a Patreon. And that actually comes from your request. I mean, I have so many messages and comments over the past few weeks of people asking for me to create a Patreon, which is absolutely mind-blowing. So I had to do it, of course. And the idea behind it is, you know, I want to keep providing you with tutorials and freebies for free on YouTube but it takes a lot of time to create them. So filming, thinking of the idea, editing, creating the freebie, it's just, you know, it's very time consuming. And so instead of going to websites where you would have to pay to get the content, I want to give it for free on YouTube. And having a Patreon is a way for the community member to just help me provide that to you. If you do become a patron, first of all, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You're not only helping me create more content for you, but you're also helping a lot of people learn, which I think is pretty cool. And on top of that, you're also getting a bunch of goodies such as color palettes, sample brushes, as well as pre-made sketches that you can use to follow along your tutorials. And there's going to be way more in the future. So make sure to check it out. It will be linked in the description below and I cannot wait to see you there.